hello and welcome to my channel today's video is going to be a makeup haul mostly from radioactive unicorn but i've got a couple of things from concrete minerals as well so if you want to see where to get some unique kind of alternative makeup then do keep on watching don't forget to subscribe and i will get straight into the video so as i said the majority of it is radioactive unicorn so it's kind of a radioactive unicorn haul but i do have like three other things from some other places so these things were bought from kate's clothing and the beauty vault i do have a code for kate's clothing it's simply underscore spooky i will put it on the screen for you here so if you use that it will get you 20 percent off your order and that is across like everything you can use it on killstar dark in love punk rave hot chocolate design like anything that they stock you can use that on and it will get you 20 percent off so it is a really good deal it is an affiliate code to be upfront, <laughs> um so i do get a percentage of that sale back so but yeah there is that code for you anyway do follow radioactive unicorn on instagram and they do like teaser collections and i saw their halloween collection and i was so so excited for their lipsticks this time around but i ended up getting quite a few <laughs> things i'll go through the stuff from kate's clothing first and then leave the beauty vault stuff till last so they had an offer on where if you spent i think it was over 25 pounds you get this like free bag with like a bunch of stuff in it and i loved the design of the bag so i was like i know i'm gonna spend 25 but there were two things i was really after and then i kind of added a last one that is very different to what i usually pick both like product wise and color wise but i think it's really unique and i did get the free bag that goes along with it so i'll show you the like freebies first and then i'll show you at the actual products that I got so the bag that I was really after was this and it's kind of like anatomy oddity kind of style like you've got the um joined what's it the joined twins conjoined they have a name um with like the two heads you got like brains saws skeletons scissors hearts in jars just everything it's really like anatomy creepy oddity kind of style and I really liked this um, I'm not sure like if this is a product from them, whether they ordered them or got them from a small business because there's no branding on here, but it's lined with this like waterproof material and it's a really nice quality bag and I did spend that mainly to get this and I actually used it when I went to Paris already because I love travel bags like this and I kept all my hair bows in to protect them so I just loved the design of this thought it was really like creepy cute and it's very useful so that was the first thing you got over if you spent over 25 pounds with radioactive unicorn at Kate's clothing and there was a couple other things there was this death head moth key ring as well um this isn't like my favorite it feels a tiny bit on the cheap side but i mainly wanted the stuff for the bag so i didn't really mind what else was with it you also get this little like puff thing i think you could probably use this for i don't know any type of makeup or powder or something but it's really really soft i'm not sure what i'll do with this to be honest um, but it's insanely soft so there is this and the last thing was also this little coffin which is made of amethyst which is really nice as well there was also a bat pin advertised i didn't get the bat pin but i'm not really too annoyed i don't want to contact them over a free gift and also as i said this was what i was after um and they also gave me a lollipop as well which i have already eaten <laughs> so that was the freebies you got if you spent over 25 pounds and now i will show you the makeup so the main one that i knew i was gonna go for which was like my favorite thing from the collection was this lipstick and this is called she's alive so for their collection they usually theme it and this one's very like frankenstein frankenstein's bride and she's alive is kind of all that <laughs> and it's this really unique color i haven't worn this one yet and i might put some swatches in but if i've worn the things already which i have i'll put some photos on of when i've worn them but this is a really nice unique purpley gray i'd say this one in the tube looks more purple than gray i do have like a purpley gray lipstick from maybelline and that one does pull more gray and this one pulls more purple which i really like because it's not the same color um but this is their packaging so there's their logo up there it says radioactive unicorn and this is the sort of color 
So it's just a really nice kind of cool toned purpley grey which is really really nice and I'll show you what it looks like. So that's the sort of colour and the wand they use. I do find these fairly easy to apply. Um, my favourite lipstick is and has always been the Maybelline ones. I just haven't found anything that's beaten that unique formula where it doesn't feel drying at all um, and it doesn't come off. There's just nothing like that but if you don't like Maybelline and don't want to support Maybelline then these are really good. I do have a couple of their lipsticks now. I You can definitely feel them on your lips and they don't feel like hydrating because it is a liquid lipstick after all. They definitely feel on the drier side but not super dry because I've tried some other ones that have just felt like awful where you just want to take them off immediately. These don't feel like that and they also don't look gross on your lips like they look very smooth um, and even if you eat and reapply them they don't look weird so I do like this formula um, that's why I have quite a lot of lipsticks <laughs> in this formula so I do like it overall it's not super drying but it is a liquid lipstick so that's something to bear in mind so that was the first one and the price of these are really reasonable this one was £10.95 so I feel like that's a really good price and I love the colour of this I feel like their colours are really unique so that was the first one and I had to keep the bag to show you what this came in like <laughs> It came in these like holographic packaging and because it's She's Alive, they put all these like holographic lightning bolts in with it, which is just really cool. So I loved the packaging of these as well. So that was how this one arrived. I knew I wanted that one and I'd had a look online before because I wanted to place my order fairly quickly on the day it launched in case something sold out. And I was going through like their Instagram and seeing customer photos and I used to have a colour from Kat Von D when it was still called Kat Von D and I think it was called Sanctuary maybe it was like a really nice kind of nude cool toned light brown colour and it's quite good if you've got maybe a bolder eye look and you are struggling to like put a right colour with it or if you're just wanting something a bit more neutral and I had a look and I found this one which is called Wolfman. This again was ten ninety five, um, and it's basically as I said it's like a cool toned kind of light nudie brown colour um, and this one just looks really nice. As I said I used to have a colour like this but it went off I think and I ended up throwing it away um, so it's, I'm glad I have this colour back again and I'll show you what this one looks like so it looks like that again I haven't tried this one out yet brown's not a color I typically reach for a lot I usually go for grays or reds occasionally black sometimes orange <laughs> and sometimes purple <laughs> um, but I still like to have a lot of different colors in my collection because if I want to do something a bit different I can have a lipstick that will match. So I'm excited to have this colour back again. Um, it was kind of what I was looking for. I'd say this one does fairly match the colour of the like product photo. I have found with some of their colours they don't match up with the product photo. So I bought a um, lipstick called Second Halloween and it was a really deep purple and it was more like cool toned and just really dark and it was the perfect colour. But in person it's very bright it's still cool toned but it's definitely not the same color so that is something to be aware of but I'd say looking at these photos this one looks pretty accurate um, and the she's alive looks pretty accurate I'd say it looks more maybe it has like a pinker tone to the photo whereas in person it not that one yeah that one in person it's definitely more purple so that's something to be aware of um but if you can find people wearing them and maybe someone close to your skin tone because lipstick does depend on your skin tone as well then that should help as well which is what i did for these <laughs> um so these are the first two lipsticks and then the last item in this order was a nail polish and this was the one that i was like I don't know if I need it but it's really unique and I just had to try it so this is a nail topper and I don't think I've ever bought a nail topper unless it's like a top coat to prevent your nail polish chipping and this is called fatal attraction magnetic nail polish and it was 7 95 and it's basically a really unique colour and it's mainly turquoise. Turquoise is a colour I never go for um, but I've already tried this out on top of grey nail polish and it looks really cool. I do have some swatches 
to show you as well because I was testing the, this out before I put it on to see what I wanted to do with it. Um, but it comes with a magnetic thing. So you basically add this on top of a nail polish and then you hold the magnet above your nail and it pulls it up, I guess, because this one is flat and that makes it shift so if you turn your hand like that it makes it shift in the light whereas this one has two magnets like a lightning bolt and this will pull the color into a lightning bolt shape and make it shift when you put your nails forward so very different and very like unusual which i really liked about this but what i didn't realize is it the color actually shifts itself from like a kind of light blue to a deeper turquoise to a purple to a pink like it's i can see it now but i'm not sure if the camera will pick it up but it's such a bright turquoise color but it does shift to purple i can see it now but it's the wrong angle for the camera <laughs> But it's just really really unique and i am really glad i picked this up but it's really pretty and really different um and next time i want to try it on black nail polish because i think that will have a more like strong effect so i did some swatches i'll show you the first row first so this is it on its own so it's quite clear so it probably would just look like clear nail polish and then when it shifts hopefully you can see the turquoise and the purple this one i did with this so it shifts kind of like left to right this one i'll come back to and then this is it on top of black nail polish which i just think looks really cool so from afar you'd kind of think it's just black nail polish but when it shifts in the light it turns from like a strong turquoise to a purple it's just really cool again i used this one then i started experimenting with this one and this is on top of the same nail polish so if you see this one it shifts like a lightning bolt compared to this hopefully you can that's a bit better like it's just really unique and this was on top of the grey that I did put it on top of in the end. So I'll put a photo on the screen of when I wore this. But it's really, really unique. I will say that this is probably meant for longer nails. I have really short nails. I've always had short nails. I've never really liked long nails. I also, I used to play the cello a lot more. And you can't have long nails to play the cello. So I've just always had short nails. And this is like, <laughs> this is like very big for short nails so it would be nice to see like a smaller version of this because i managed to get the zigzag or like the lightning bolt on a couple of nails but some of them it didn't work very well so i'm not sure if it's i did dip this in the polish by accident so hopefully i haven't ruined it i just think it's really fun really different and i am glad i got it in the end because i just think it's really unique and like i've never seen anything like this before and i think it's a really good price so that was my first order really pleased with everything um obviously i still have to try the lipsticks but i have tried the formula before so i'm pretty confident confident that they will be fine basically they had two other colors they had a bright orange which i do already have three orange lipsticks and i only wear orange lipstick in autumn so i don't really need another one also saw they had a black now this is what i mean about like the color so when i saw it i was like oh it's a matte black lipstick i already have like my maybelline one that i absolutely love i don't need that and then i saw radioactive unicorn post a photo of a customer wearing this lipstick and i was like i have been looking for that color for ages what is that and it was that same color but it's not black it's metallic gray but it's gorgeous this one is called jolt and this one starts again at 10.95 i did have a coupon so i got some money off of this one um but this one definitely does not look the color that it is in the photo i'll put the, the photo on the screen so you can see like it looks very like matte black whereas this is definitely like a grungy metallic like and it does have a shimmer in it which is really pretty but you don't see that in the photo and it's very gray and i did end up messaging her and being like what was that color like is is this this is it black and she did say it's a gray that's my criticism i would say is sometimes the product photos don't match up but i love this color i've already worn it and it's gorgeous um i'll show you it in the tube first 
So hopefully you can see, but it is a metallic grey and it's a really nice grey. I'd say it's actually more of a neutral grey. So some grey lipsticks can look really bad on me if they pull blue. Um, they just look strange and I have had that on like a Rimmel one before and I like threw it out, it was awful. But I love purple greys. I went to the cinema and I was like, I don't need to wear makeup. And then I was like, mm, maybe I'll do a smoky eye. And then it just ended up as that thing where you're like, I'll just do mascara. And then you do like a full on makeup look. <laughs> um, and I just ended up doing like a grey smoky eye. I didn't do like my eyeliner underneath. I kept it quite simple. <laughs> simple was what I was going for. It didn't look simple in the end. It looked really like grungy and really moody. Um, I will put a photo on the screen for you here so you can see. But I did a grey smoky eye with last year's Halloween palette from Radioactive Unicorn and I had no grey to match and I didn't want to do black lipstick because I was like, I'm just going to the cinema. <laughs> so I ended up putting on a purpley grey and it did not match and it really bugged me. And then this came up on Instagram and this matches perfectly so i have done that look with like this makeup look so then i'll put this one on the screen and it it just matches like beautifully and i've been looking for a color like this for a while like one that's gray that's not too dark that doesn't pull purple and that doesn't pull blue or brown this is just the perfect grungy metallic neutral gray it's beautiful i love this color so I'm really, really happy with this and I'm glad I saw other customers wearing this because I've been looking for this. <laughs> so this is my last one from Kate's Clothing. So as I said, you can use my code. It's simply underscore spooky and that will get you 20% off at Kate's Clothing. I don't have a code for the Beauty Vault, unfortunately, but I will go through that next. I was having a look at the Beauty Vault because they sometimes do some really unique colours and sometimes they do stuff that Kate's Clothing don't do. So I was just having a look and I came across across some gold things that I really liked. So I mentioned in another video I've got really into gold lately. My fiance's always really liked gold, my engagement ring is gold and I also have a friend who wears a lot of gold jewellery and I think together with all of that I'm like I kind of like gold now. <laughs> so I've been kind of experimenting with some gold things and I was going to Paris but I was going to the opera house and it is like so fancy there's just gold everywhere and I was like I really want to do a matching like gold look to go there and I wanted a gold nail polish and I found one on the beauty vault so I mainly placed the order for this and this is a radioactive unicorn nail polish in the shade or is it chocolate coins which I think is fun and the product photo is like someone wearing it with some coins in the background like those gold ones and this is beautiful this is the perfect gold like ever <laughs> it doesn't pull too yellowy um it's just gorgeous and it has a lovely shift to it which you can hopefully see it's beautiful so the reason Kate's clothing actually don't have this is I think this one's been discontinued so I'm glad I got it. I'll link like everything that's available in the description box below for you but when I bought this they only had a couple of couple left so hopefully like if you've seen this and you really want this then do check out that link as soon as possible but it's kind of sad they're discontinuing this because it is a gorgeous colour um and i do love their nail polishes i just think they're very unique so i did get this one this was 6.95 that's the swatch of it absolutely beautiful all of these are to be honest this also just shows like the versatility of the other one as well but that is the swatch of the gold coins one. <laughs> also the Beauty Vault put this lovely like postcard kind of thing in. It feels very velvety, almost like my planner, like that soft touch lamination. And they're doing a new branding like thing where they're going for this like galaxy witch kind of vibe. And I think it looks really pretty. So I thought I'd just show you their new card. So yeah, and the people who work there are always really nice. They always reply like when I tag them and stuff. So I've got four things left. This haul's definitely longer than I thought. I'll go through the last radioactive unicorn thing first and this is not the colour it's showing up on camera. This lipstick has a strange name. It's called the Witch's Arsehole. Very random, <laughs> but that's what it's called. And this one was $10.95, so standard price. And again, they did not have this on Kate's clothing. I don't think this... This might be discontinued. I'm not too sure, but... 
they only had i believe they only had a couple left so the the beauty vault has more of the stuff that's like discontinued so definitely check them out if you can't find the thing you're looking for but this is coming up on camera as a very bright bluey red it's not <laughs> it's actually one of those colors that is like sometimes looks red sometimes it's orange like a burnt orange and i do have this orange which is very much an autumnal orange and then i've got one that's slightly darker from maybelline called fighter which i wore in another video and that looks like darker than this but this is very different it's more of like a reddy orange because i've got some colors in a makeup palette I have like all my autumn palettes and there's one that I always wanted to try and it's very reddy orange and none of my lipsticks match. I really wanted a colour like this so I am glad that I have this one. So that's it up close. It's definitely pulling more red but it is more of an orangey red and that's what it looks like. And that's what it looks like on the applicator so yeah it's definitely showing more like bright red whereas actually it's more of an orangey red i am really pleased with it again this is a color i've been searching for for a while so i did get that one i've got two eyeshadows and a lip balm so i'll go through the lip balm briefly this one i have like a burt's bees lip balm and my sister always steals it so i just wanted a new one and this one that is in capricorn i am a capricorn so this is the one i got and this one was four pounds 49 i guess kind of expensive for a lip balm but i love this brand it's called crazy rumors i've got a few things from them and they always smell incredible this says that it's an earth blend i'm not sure what this was described as but it smells really nice so i'll show you the packaging of this i just thought it was pretty cool they do have them for like all the star signs so that was the lip balm i got and then i've got two eyeshadows so these are by concrete minerals i've got a couple of things by concrete minerals some of them i've been more impressed by with others some of these because i always get like this style they're more of like a loose eyeshadow and i do prefer eyeshadow that's pressed not loose into a pan because some of these are quite messy to work with so this one is called ruse and this one is called vanity so i wasn't sure i'm not sure if that was a leaf or there was like a leaf or a bat outside and i think it's a giant moth <laughs> in the day which is really random it's huge anyway <laughs> um yeah so i got i i was looking at these online and i was kind of in a panic because paris was like fastly approaching and i wanted like some gold makeup because i don't actually have any gold makeup and i knew i wanted to do black lipstick with a gold eyeshadow look i was looking at these online and i couldn't decide which one would match because i was also making gold hair bows i also had some gold jewelry and sometimes golds can pull more like neutral or more yellow so i picked these two they weren't too expensive they're only six pounds each i feel like that's all right um and concrete minerals is a us company so that's quite good for a brand that's like been imported basically i'm really impressed with this one and not so impressed with this one um i nearly just went for this which i'm really glad i didn't because i definitely prefer this one so i'll go through the one that i'm not as crazy about this is called ruse now in the photo i'll put it on the screen it's this beautiful golden eyeshadow and it looks like it would perfectly match the gold coins like i'm looking at it right now and it looks very like a almost like a really yellowy gold and this pulls orange which is strange i'm not sure if it needs to be like topped on top of something better not drop this <laughs> but it's so orangey like that definitely looks orange so this does not look like the color in the photo at all um so i wasn't really impressed with this one i i mean it's makeup i don't know if you can really send back makeup but i thought i will do some autumnal looks with this because i feel like orange and gold could look really pretty together so maybe like a orange eyeshadow look like i'm wearing now with this on top maybe it's got some like gold flecks in it um so i wasn't overly crazy with this and that's not the one that i wore <laughs> i did end up going with this one this one's vanity same price and this is more of a i'd say like a champagne -y gold which is really pretty i did top this on top of yellow eyeshadow um 
because I'm not sure how this would look by itself. I don't think it'd be yellowy enough to match the things that I had. I did put this on top and it looked pretty. Um, I didn't take any photos. I was in such a rush. I missed my alarm like the day we were going to Paris. <laughs> I forgot to charge my phone. It was a whole thing. I woke up in such a panic and just like jumped out of bed. It was pretty horrible. <laughs> um, but yeah, I did put this on top, but I don't really have too many photos. Um, only the ones I took in the hotel. But as you can see, it's very much like a champagne-y gold compared to this one, which is definitely more of a yellowy gold. But this did work. I think it looked a bit more brown in some areas, but I really was rushing. Like, I had an, an hour to do everything and finish packing and be out the door, so it was a bit crazy. And you might think that's a long time, but my eye makeup usually takes, like, half an hour, maybe even longer, so it was a whole thing. <laughs> yes, I do really like this. I'm glad I picked this up. And I'm sure I can get use out of the other one. It's just a bit disappointing with the colours. But that is everything from my makeup hauls. Formula wise, I love Radioactive Unicorns nail polishes. I think they stay on really nice and they're very unique. I definitely have quite a few. I think I've got three or four others in my drawer. Their nail polish is probably the thing I like the most. I do have an eyeshadow palette from them. It's very pigmented. It does have fallout, but I really love the colours in it. And they're so unique. Um, that's definitely like as you can tell the number one thing I love about them is they do have really cool colors They do have an eyeshadow palette that's based off of like the bride of frankenstein I'll put a photo on the screen. It wasn't it didn't really appeal to me I don't usually wear like nude colors. I usually go for quite bright colors or like grays But that palette i'm sure is gorgeous if you like that type of thing and the Lipsticks I do like the formula, but that is my haul from Kate's Clothing, The Beautiful, Radioactive Unicorn and Concrete Minerals. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it shows you where you can get some more unique makeup if you're looking for some new brands or just for some unique colours. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do subscribe and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye!